I'm Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Laguna Playhouse for the presentation of the off-Broadway smash hit, Murder for Two. Hi, I'm Ashton Marcus with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and you're... Kyle Brenzel. I grew up in Elyria, Ohio. It's a small suburb outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and then I, um, when I graduated high school, I decided that I wanted to be a music teacher. So I studied at Ithaca College for a year and a half, um, vocal performance and music education. And then I decided that I wanted to really be an actor. <laughs> so I uh, transferred schools to Chicago, um, Roosevelt University in Chicago, um, where I studied musical theater performance. And then I graduated and moved to New York uh, shortly thereafter. And one of my first gigs is this tour of Murder for Two. <laughs> okay, and uh, so which character do you play? I play the suspect, so I really play about ten different characters. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've noticed that. And actually, you actually kind of developed a persona, a voice and a movement for every single character. <laughs> you know, one of the things was um, one of the things that we always think about in the show is making each person clear um, so that the audience is able to distinguish them without costume changes because we do very minimal uh, costume changes. So um, thank you for saying that because it, it takes a lot, it took a lot to uh, really work on making sure each person has a voice and a body and mannerisms that they do and their own sets of wants and needs and things like that. Yeah. The only time I've ever seen anyone do a performance like that was actually Robin Williams. <laughs> That's uh, was quite a compliment getting compared to him because he's a tour de force himself. Thank you so much. Okay, so a uh, basic a uh, question I got to ask you is how long did it take did you take to develop this talent? I mean, again, you played the piano, you sang, and you danced. <laughs> um, well, it, I mean, I've been in the theater since I was little, doing community theater and school shows and stuff like that. Um, but this is, you're right, a u very unique show. Um, I, I had had this piano background that I came from, so that was sort of the the least of my worries, let's say. Um, and then it took it did take a while to learn the script and the music, and then on top of that, to really um, make it clear and make it um, enjoyable to watch. I'm going to take a wild guess because I, I didn't do any research on you. Let me, you probably start doing the piano when you're like five. <laughs> you probably practice about two hours a day. <laughs> Because you dance, you're like an athlete, so you probably ex dance or exercise every other day. So, I mean, how much time does that take out of your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's, it's a sweaty, we are very sweaty at the end of this show. It's a, it's a marathon for us. Um, so that it, it is good cardio in that way. Um, but, uh, yeah, we also, I mean, it's to the point now where we can also live our real lives. Like, we went to the beach the other day. You know, it's, it's, we're having fun touring the cities, and especially Laguna. We've been loving the weather and the um, scenery, really. Um, so it's been fun. <laughs> well, actually, I guess just for my audience, because you, know, you understand, you're an actor. You're in, you're in showbiz. I know a little bit about it. They don't know anything about this. They just go to the office, work eight hours a day. But, you, <laughs> I mean... You, you probably started working when you were, you probably started studying music when you were five. You started actually community theater, then regional theater, non-equity, then equity. Do you feel like you, you actually missed out on life? That, there's, that, that you know, you, you've been working your whole life? <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good question. Um, you know, it, it, is, it is really difficult being an actor. Um, we spend long hours, as you said, rehearsing and then performing, and it's very antisocial, can be antisocial at times. Um, but I think I, I, I've always been encouraged as in my acting training to live my life and to really live life hard so that you're able to draw on those experiences. Because you mentioned those, those people working those nine to five day jobs. Um, that's, that's definitely something that we can draw on as actors. Those are real people that we're trying to be on stage. We're trying to be real people on stage. So, um, yeah, I think it's about. I think it's just about living, even in spite of, you know, having all these challenges and these challenging rehearsal schedules. Right. But is it is it worth it? Because again, you're an artist. I mean, what's it like to be an artist and actually be on stage, doing what you love doing, getting paid for it, and all that, and being successful? You may win an award. What, what's that like? I, I got to tell you, I'm I'm been very humbled. This is uh, the, definitely the highlight of my career so far, and um, it's it's a unique show. I mean, it's just the two of us, and so we're I'm half the show, you know. So um, it's it's so rewarding. It takes a lot of work, though. But it, it I think in the end, the the end justifies the means. <laughs> but it's not the pay. You, you don't do this for the pay, do you? Well, the pay is nice, but in, in this business, no. It's really not for the pay. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I really enjoyed your performance. I, I, lo- I love this. Thank you. Thank you All so right. much. All right. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks. I really had a great time. Murder for Two will be playing at the Laguna Playhouse from April 22nd to May 17th. For more information, go to lagunaplayhouse.com or theorangecurtainrev.com.